Hello to you, Adventure of the Interwebs. My name's Mikey, and I'm glad to be back. Glad to be back playing Minecraft after what's been a five-year break. Where have I been for five years? Well, nowhere special, really. The reason I stopped playing Minecraft five years ago was because I needed to sort out my career, sort out my money. So I started a business from scratch, and I put all my time and effort into it. Because if you're going to do something, you've got to do it properly. I'm glad to say that after five years of spending all my time and effort on my business, it's working out really well. It's going so well, I've now got a little bit of time for my hobby, Minecraft again, and recording stuff on Minecraft. I'm really, really excited to be able to get back to playing Minecraft and see all of the amazing changes that have been going on. So much has happened inside Minecraft in the last five years. It's incredible, so it's definitely time to play again, and I've found a server to play on. The server I'm playing on is called Silver Sun which is a medieval build server with a really nice little community and they do these big group projects to do medieval builds. I found myself a little island as you can see to start on. I got myself some sheep that I've been slowly breeding and slaughtering so I've got mutton later on to be able to eat. I've also got myself a little pet dog that I found. I haven't named him yet. I don't know what name or her name. I'm not sure yet. I've got to be a little bit more creative than just snow. <laughs> That's the only idea I've got right now is snow. But yeah, I've got this little island and I've decided that I'm going to try to build a kind of sea tavern here. So I'm going to build up some, it looked like a rock face coming up, like a cliff maybe. Not a very tall one, just a little bit, with a tavern build on top of it. I'm not completely sure what the tavern build is going to look like yet. It might be like a boat that's been shipwrecked and then converted. Or maybe it's just going to be a normal kind of medieval build with a little dock that goes around it. People can come inside and have a chat and have a drink and maybe do a bit of trading. Maybe have a little trading outpost element to it. This part I'm thinking of really digging down deep so ships can go through. Maybe have a little bridge come over here and then build up a tower of sorts here. Maybe a lighthouse or possibly a sort of air docking thing for airships to be able to come to as well so this not just for sea ships but airships can come and dock and get their drink and have a little sleep I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that one yet it de all depends on the law of the server because they do everything in theme here and it all follows a law which is really cool they've got a really nice little story behind everything right now and if it can fit in then maybe I'll have an air docking ship tower type of thing going on or I'm gonna do it as something else we'll see what happens and I've been playing it for a couple of days now. I'm enjoying the community. I've got shown, out, shown around by a fella called Tarkus, which is very nice. And I've got a little kind of wheat thing going on here, so I don't starve to death. And I've got a few little chests, I've got a few little items. As you can see, I've got my little pickaxe here, and I've got a few diamonds, some gear. I went to town, they've got a, a shop with mending books for eight diamonds per book. So I picked up a mending book and put my pickaxe. I plan to do it for all of these, so I've got to get a few more diamonds. So I can get mended on everything and I went to the XP farm and got the rest of the enchants here it's a skeleton XP farm which I've got so many bones as you can see and I've been doing a fair bit of mining getting my supplies up getting up my stone and everything so I can create this first build and then get involved in some of the group projects so right now I'm just going to try to get myself some more diamonds and then head over and buy some of those books so I'll go mining well, that didn't take too long actually, I've got myself a few more diamonds and I'm just getting ready to head off. I've got my stuff ready to put mending on, another enchant, I've got a whole load of lapis to be able to restock because I used quite a lot of lapis when I was at the XP farm before. So I'm going to replenish it and give a little bit back. I've got a few books that I'm ready to put on some of my stuff and I also I need to make some of those anvils. Get a few anvils because when I was there last time I ended up breaking one of them and use it all up. So I'll take two along with me. I can replenish what I use because it's only fair. I can't do the books yet. I haven't got myself a cow farm, but eventually I'll get loads of leather, make a whole load of books as well for it. Okay, so off to town. Now we're coming into the main town of Mulhafen. I'm not sure if I said it right. I'm hoping I said it right. But this is the main town anyway, <laughs> whichever way you pronounce it. And we're in the little dock area at the moment. I've got myself lots of diamonds, as you saw earlier. I actually went and got a few more diamonds. I've got a stack of diamonds, and I left one at home. I've got one spare for later on. We're going to come up here, and we're going to have a little look. We're going to go down the shop area and have a little look at the shops and stuff. Oh, hello. I didn't see this fella before. Yeah, he's just 
picture now. I need to go find those mending books. I've got lots of diamonds to buy them. Oh, there's a creeper there. Damn dusted creepers. Get, get away. There we go. He's off. He's gone. Thankfully, of course, there's no explosions. Explosions from the creepers has been disabled because who would want horrible creepers blowing up this amazing build? They built this in a week. I hadn't joined the server at this point in time, of course. But they made all this in a week and it's absolutely amazing. And seeing this town, when I first joined the server, I was guided round with another new fella by a, a fella called Tarkus. He showed us around this town and it was absolutely fantastic. And it was in this little place where you see the gold armor fella. That's where I got my gold armor. In here, adventures in style. He said, take whatever you like. And I had, oh, there's not much left in here actually. <gasps> Whoa, there's diamond chests in there. How about that? There's a few other things. Not too much left, but this is where I got my armor from, which is lovely. But, oh, can I get through here? Can I get through here? Let me through. There we go. I should really turn off that automatic jump in my life. I think that's what's mucking it up. I'm not used to that. Never used to exist back when I played. Back in my day. Back in my day. But it does now. I haven't quite got used to it. So I think this is the place where I can get my books of mending book of mending here we go eight diamonds per book loads of mending books mending for days going on right here fantastic i wonder what else they've got, they've got books of unbreaking eight diamonds or 22 emeralds per book that's pretty expensive i'm not going to bother that one oh, we've just got normal books in there doesn't say what they cost okay in the chest got a little bit of gunpowder in here because i'm thinking about making a firework shop Possibly, and I could either buy out or use, maybe get permission to use one of the shops in the city, or the other thing I was thinking is making a trading cart, I kind of like a traveler's caravan cart type thing, and just putting it at the front gate and selling fireworks out there. Maybe putting like an oriental theme on that, kind of like it's a traveler from distant lands, and they've come over here to sell us their mysterious goods of fireworks kind of I kind of like the feeling of that it kind of it kind of feels good doesn't it yeah and I'm kind of thinking of doing it whoa hello Jesus cool did not see that coming wow this place is dangerous let's eat some bread oh no no lovely I'm kind of thinking of putting it around here and I could have it set up here or set up on the side over here somewhere Got lots of farms. I've been using this area quite a lot, taking out all the crops and replanting them so I can eat some bread, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna head over to the XP area. I'll come back to this town, as I say, later on when I have an elytra and show you it properly because running around on the floor really doesn't do this place justice, I don't think. And right here is a good example of why I'm really enjoying this server because everything is made with some kind of meaning. So here, of old stood the watchtower of Ammon Damon. Its ruin was smote by an army of undead. Only death dwells here now. And this is on the way to the XP farm. See, there's the city back there. We've been following the path. We've got to go through this dark, horrible way. Here we are now, and look at that big old skull. And this is actually for one of the gods in the lore of this server. I think it's Femur. I think that's how you say it. I might be wrong with a lot of these things. Look at the detail of this build. I'm pretty sure the guy that made this is Tarkus. And I love the use of right here. You, you see the dead coral. That dead coral looks like a fungus coming out of that log. It's just really, really cool. And I've got the bubbles, with the slow sand and stuff. And here we come into this skull. I'm going to come on in. And then we've got the little bit of prismarine blocks. And it's kind of like it's got this old mayan kind of feel and do you know what when i was reading lovecraft cold of cthulhu and they're talking about the old ones ancient cities this is the kind of thing i kind of imagined it looking like sort of you come down here it takes you down deeper into this dark sinister eldritch kind of dungeon and you've got the kind of like mossy vines coming down deep into this underground Mayan-ish evil temple 
and it's just really cool and this is all for the XP farm and here you come in here and of course you stand here and you kill stuff with your sword lovely jubbly you get lots of stuff here you got all the things you can get if you press this lever oh, press it once not twice just press it once is enough and it will go away into the storage system that he's got I don't know what this I don't know what that chest is there and yeah you got your little enchanting area and right there was the anvil that I broke so let's replace what we broke and I'm gonna put a spare one in here as well and oh no there's not very many books here <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go kill some cows and come back here and make some more books get some paper need to find a paper farm somewhere there's plenty of this I used up a lot of this I'm gonna put a whole load more in there as well here's the bone chew and look uh, here they start coming just your normal XP farm from here on out really but yeah it's just everything is made with a purpose in this server and I think that's pretty cool so I'm gonna kill loads of skeletons and uh, enchant my gear and after what took absolutely ages I've enchanted my gear I've got pretty much every enchant I want now so I've got myself unbreaking of course mending respiration aqua infinity blast protection on the helmet on the chest I've got unbreaking mending protection and same on the legs and on the boots I've got feather falling on breaking mending death stride and fire protection I wanted to have fawns on the chest I've just not been able to get it unfortunately and I've had enough of enchanting right now on the sword I've got unbreaking sharpness mending sweeping edge fire aspect I would like to have looting on that as well but again I'm just not getting it so I'm gonna try to find a villager with looting and fawns maybe and get it that way instead on the bow I've got unbreaking power infinity flame and punch pickaxe i'm breaking fortune mending and efficiency five now and i've got the same efficiency five on the shovel and on the axe as well i've got fortune three as well i don't know if that actually does anything i don't have any silk touch yet i need to get silk touch in the future i was unlucky getting that as well but i'll come back here another time i'll just quickly kill these ones and as you probably notice everything is a little bit brighter now I turned up the brightness because I had it on moody, on the default moody, so I've turned it up so hopefully you can see stuff a little bit better here. We'll have a look at these catacombs of Thimur. Now as I get back into this recording stuff, there's going to be things that aren't perfect. If you notice things are too dark or something's wrong, leave me a comment. I much appreciate it so I can improve the videos back to the quality that I used to do and make it even better than that we've got this fresh channel i'm on right now starting from scratch i don't know gold gold tomb of sorts that looks pretty cool so i've got this fresh channel that i'm on now starting again and hopefully it will become better than ever i'm not actually explored up here just having a oh it's a bit perilous up here actually i'm, I'm gonna get back down right, let's get i don't want to test out my feather falling boots <laughs> just yet oh there's water there Okay, and what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to go back to the main town and I'm going to build a little shop. And we've got our little location ready, all highlighted out. It's not a very big build. It's only 5 by 30 and I've got it measured out. It's going to be right here, just parked on the side of the road. So now I'm going to go and gather all the materials I need to create my travelling car. Hey, here we are, I finished my build. If you would like to see me making this build, I actually did a little build video on it. Kind of like my old let's build type videos. I'll be redoing that series, doing builds inside Minecraft. And I'll be doing bigger ones than this one in the future. I just need to have a starting point, somewhere to start making a build video again. I'm really happy how it's turned out. We've named the shop Hinori Shonin, which means hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it means fire spirit merchant and we've got our fireworks in here ready to sell at one diamond per 64 fireworks we've got our nice little flower there we've got an ender chest up above we've got a crafting table because every single shop should always have those things we've got a little driver's area i might add little bits to this in the future or customize customize it further at a later time but right now i'm very happy with how this turned out using some buttons here to make it look like this is all kind of like secured we've got our gray wall our gray concrete powder to create a little bit of contrast in texture we've also got some gray carpets on top to create a little bit of difference in depth 
all these little bits to create hopefully an interesting build. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out the Facebook and Twitter for updates every now and then on what's going on and I'll see you in the next one.